Tony D and Little Joan with your Piney Podcast, all things South Jersey, here on YouTube. What? Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check us out on the live stream in just about an hour. First, I gotta get this video done, right, Little Joan? Oh, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time on YouTube. I was going to put this other more political uh, bit I did about Twitter on uh, YouTube, and then uh, I realized it was a little too spicy, so I said, ah, I better take this off. YouTube is very censorious, I think. So, Little Joan and I <clears throat> will do nice stories about South Jersey. Uh, but first, I'm going to get through some of the crime stories. I, I, I'm not picking them all. I'm just picking the ones that kind of I kind of got to do. So, 53-year-old Summerdale man struck and killed in hit-and-run crash. This is right near me. Linwald. Oh, my God. They're looking for a light-colored Tesla that was involved in a fatal hit-and-run on Thursday. According to cops, a hit-and-run motor vehicle accident resulted in the death of a pedestrian. It's being investigated by Camden County Prosecutor's Office. The driver involved in the crash did not remain at the scene, obviously. This was at the 600 block of Whitehorse Pike around 6.42 p.m. Busy time. Very busy time. Um, and this is a, a friggin' Tesla. So whoever, whoever this is probably has money. You should turn yourself in right now and said you freaked out or whatever. Do not, do not attempt to hide. They're going to find you. Uh, shooting at Glassboro, New Jersey home, kills 22-year-old man. Again, this is right near me, too. This is a mile away from the Rowan campus. Uh, not a great neighborhood in some parts. So, I assume it was some sort of drug deal gone wrong, but who knows? Who knows? All right. Send nudes. N-O-O-D. Why would New Jersey police seek ID of man wearing unique shirt? And this is at Sojo 104.9. 104.9. Oh, there he is. Um, he uh, he's involved in a theft investigation. So I guess he's maybe stole some stuff or is accused uh, at Wawa. So kind of stupid to wear a shirt like that. It's fairly unique. Uh, New Jersey Taylor Swift fans fall prey to $1,500 ticket scam. Uh, scammers are on the prowl for eager Swifties to get concert tickets. One fan in North Jersey lost more than $1,000. Police in Hackettstown say the victim, a 30-year-old woman, was a member of a Facebook group. Some in the group posted that they had Taylor Swift tickets for sale, and the victim took the bait. Not only that, she listens to Taylor Swift. Poor woman. Hope she gets help. Uh, just do it, Egg Harbor Township. Police seek ID guy in Nike hoodie. I don't have a second picture of that, but it's on the same website. So, um, uh, he had a cart full of stuff, so I guess, I guess again, maybe it's stealing. Uh, don't steal. It's bad. New Jersey lawmakers see all gun owners as homicidal. This is a, an opinion piece. Um, in his recent guest column, New Jersey's tough gun bill respects the Second Amendment and will save lives. Assemblyman John F. McKeon D. of Essex express the badly flawed position held by typical anti-gun activists insulting citizens who own firearms legally and exercise their Second Amendment. And it's the same old story. Here in New Jersey, the gun rights battle continues. Uh, winter weather advisory. New Jersey's first real snow event of the season. No, doggy, no. What are we going to do? I hate snow. I hate snow so much. But fortunately, uh, down near me, almost all rain, some snowflakes Monday a.m. So nothing yet. Thank God. Thank God. Up north, you're going to get a few inches, it looks like. But, uh, yeah, I'll take the rain. I'll take rain. Raising Cane's Deferred Site Plan confirms Don Pablo's demo. Uh, it's a weird restaurant. A Chicken Fingers-themed restaurant. But Don, I hate Don Pablo's. It's a very iconic building, though. They spent a lot of money on the building. They probably should have spent the money on uh, improving their food. Don't really... I don't really go to restaurants based on the building, Don Pablo's. It also was huge. It was a gigantic building, too. 
but I guess it was built in the time of plenty. Um, so maybe it was cheap. I mean, at the time, but this is the chicken fingers place. I mean, you know, I guess feels like another chain restaurant. Here it is. The Applebee's across the street. Oh, that's where it is. Near the BJ's and the Target. Oh, I'm thinking about, no, wait a minute. No, I do know where this is. Okay, now this is this is the road I was thinking of. Is there an Applebee's over there? Oh, I guess. Uh, I, I don't like chain restaurants as a rule. All the Christmas bars to visit in Atlantic City this holiday season. You mean there are safe ones? Uh, let's see. Tipsy Elf inside Harris Resort. Okay, that would be safe. <laughs> I guess these are all thematic, just temporary. That's kind of cool. Um... Uh, Tipsy Elf is part of the Eden Lounge. The Jingle Bell Bar and the Ocean Casino Resort. Oh, there is an Ocean Casino? Look at that. Um, decorations. And, you know, Christmas for adults. Uh, you'll notice both places you can drink. The Yard. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. It's an outside deal. Uh, transform the Dennis Courtyard into an outdoor winter wonderland, which I assume has heating. Uh, there it is. So looking good. Candy Cane Lounge. <laughs> They're all drink related. <laughs> Everybody, booze up, people. It's Christmas. Um, so, where is this? Where's the Candy Cane Lounge? It's all look uh, resorts. Okay, so these are all in the casino, it looks like. Probably safe. Irish Pub. It's not a pop-up bar. The Irish Pub in AC is open year-round. But during the holidays, they captivate you. Oh. See, this is the one I would go for, probably. A little more old school. If I went to bars, which I don't. It's uh, located at 164 St. James Place in Atlantic City. Yeah, they have real straight street names like that. Santa's Gingerbread House. Located at the Wild Honey Smokehouse Tavern inside the Tropicana. That looks pricey. Looks pricey, right? Yeah, these are pricey. I'm guessing. I'm guessing they're pricey. I don't know the prices. Especially inside a casino. Christmas Cocktail Crawl at the Borgata. 12 Days of Cheer. Sounds fun if you drink. I don't drink, so. Knock yourselves out, drinkers. Uh, passionate New Jersey Wawa fans offer 15 ways to make their stores better. How dare you? Wawa is perfect. We all know this. But I will I will take your suggestions under advisement. Let's see. Alright. Tables instead of trash cans. Where? Where are you going to put them? Most Wawas are just nothing but parking lot outside. And if they could jam a couple of more cars next to the building and get rid of the sidewalk, I think they would. So I don't know. That's, I mean, I understand, but and then they're going to have to send people outside to clean them. I don't know. Sounds like maybe, maybe the Wawa's that are out in the sticks with me. Yeah, you could do that. I don't, although there's a couple of them. Ah, yeah, I wouldn't sit. And then maybe in the summer, in the summer, I guess. Fix the air pumps. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a gimme. Year-round turkey bowls and turkey gobblers. I mean, people do really like them. So, that makes sense. Don't park at the effing pump when you gas up. F you. I, uh... <laughs> my Wawa's aren't that busy. I can do it. Look, it's... You can pay inside. For the gas. Make it even more efficient. Uh, let's, let's cut a deal here. If you pay inside for the gas... And you're quick. You don't take your good old time. Then it's okay. And if you're not at the busiest Wawa up north. Like down south, our Wawas just aren't that busy. Even at the busy ones. Sell some baby stuff? No. Maybe emergency... Okay, maybe emergency diapers and baby wipes. But don't go crazy. Bring back the old hoagie bread? Yes. Yes. Um... Yeah, I would. They're they're baking it in the store now. Yeah, I mean, 
Amoroso was good. They'll never do that, though. I think it's probably more efficient to do it this way. Coffee-only cashier? Maybe. I mean, I'm sure they could do that. I'm not a coffee guy. I don't go there in the morning because it's too damn packed, but sure. Put Scrapple on the menu? I don't know, man. Um, they're going national. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Uh... How good is it going to be if they start putting scrap? How much are they going to have to charge? I mean, I'd be down for it. I don't I don't know if that's realistic. Fix the parking situation. They couldn't get more. You want, you want, you want, ask for picnic tables and then you ask to fix the parking situation? Look, it's just too popular a store. I think they're pretty efficient what they have, especially at the newer ones. If you're at an old one, I understand. One-way gas pumps? Maybe, I, I mean, again, I'm, I'm at Wawa's where they're not as busy, but maybe automated, automated doors. That seems like a, a ridiculous request. Uh, bring, bring back the fresh deli. I don't think you're going to get the full service deli counters. Are you nuts? They're never going to give you that. No, it's, it's just too much. You, you people want everything. I mean, I'd love it, sure. Go back to what it was 20 years ago before everything went super. I mean, I liked my little tiny Wawa. It was one of the original ones in Linnewald, but they tore it down and built the giant one. You're never going to get that either. So, I mean, maybe they could do Wawa, I don't know, extensions. Shoebies cannot shop before 9 a.m. to give working locals a chance to get what they need before work. I don't know. How are you going to do that? That doesn't make any sense. Hot dogs. I would bring back spicy sausage and chili cheese and sauerkraut type. People are asking so much. What's it going to taste like when you keep bringing all this stuff back and they can't... They still have to be able to, like, you know, keep it fresh, keep it warm, keep it edible. You're going to have this stuff sitting around for hours? I don't know, man. I mean, I definitely want onions chili i could do without cheese sure the shredder cheese sauerkrauts i mean maybe like how many people get sauerkraut on a hot dog of wawa they're usually in too much of a hurry maybe for lunch i mean maybe you could have certain things for lunch all right and here here's the next one wawa workers reveal the fast food orders they hate making the most omelet breakfast quesadillas Black bean quesadilla, salads, <laughs> gobbler. I'm taking gobbler season off. There you go. Cheesecake smoothies. Ugh, that sounds gross. Stacked tuna chicken salad. Salad. Oof. Pierogi quesadillas. Oh, I'm seeing a pattern here. Burgers and milkshakes. Why would you get a burger at Wawa? Sandwiches with every possible topping plus extra cheese and meat. That's a little much. Garlic turkey quesadilla. Again, quesadillas. Black bean quesadillas. Meatball hoagies with everything on them. Yeah, they don't want to make the complicated stuff. You can only... It's supposed to be in and out. If you add all these things, you know, you're just adding to the traffic. You know, a guy's going to get seven toppings on his hot dog and i got to stand behind him? I mean, come on. There's got to be limits. Triple... Or, Sorry. Triple Demic? Yeah, I guess it's Triple Demic clears New Jersey shelves of children's medication because people are idiots. Um, early flu, RSV, and COVID-19 rages. Oh, it's really raging. I, I don't know a single person who had it. Somebody got uh, sick, but geez. People get sick this time of year. It's getting cold. Relax. Scientist officials trying to figure out what shook New Jersey on Monday. I didn't even know something shook New Jersey. Uh, tremors across New Jersey and Pennsylvania reported in the last 36 hours. Oh my God. Any of you out there feel the, the tremors? Not me. One time I did, and that was crazy. That was that one really big one we had. And if we get the big one here, uh, that'll, be, that'll be like a nuclear bomb went off on the East Coast. Did New Jersey rank on the most fun cities? Probably not, because New Jersey isn't a city. 
In fact, we spend $3,500 entertaining ourselves every year. I guess the average New Jerseyite. Um, did uh, a New Jersey City make the top 20? No. Okay. Did any? What was the highest city we had? No. Oh, so New Jersey didn't even make top 20, and you're talking about this. You didn't even give me one city that even moderately fun here. So Las Vegas was number one. Los Angeles is number 20. Look, I lived in Los Angeles. It was not a fun place in my view. That was a terrible place. New York, sure. There were some fun places in New York. That was number nine. Orlando, absolutely. Miami, I'm guessing. Atlanta, yeah. New Orleans, absolutely. San Francisco, yeah. Austin, I've heard. Honolulu, I had to assume. Chicago, yeah. Cincinnati, Cincinnati. You put Cincinnati on this list, any place in Ohio I would question. Tampa, sure. Fort Lauderdale, sure. Portland? You're putting Portland as the most fun city? In, I guess if you love wanton destruction. Denver, I assume. Everybody's baked. San Diego, yes. Washington, D.C.? I mean, I guess, yeah. Houston, yeah. St. Louis, maybe. Los Angeles? Nah. Where do we fall on the list? Below, it says. Las Vegas, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, New Jersey has its own fun, and we're close to New York and Philly. Philly wasn't even on the list. <laughs> so, yeah, and New York's a asshole now, so. Say your goodbyes to the beloved doo-wop drive-in in Wildwood Crest. So, that's going away. It's been sold. The folks over to Wildwood Video Arcade have confirmed the news. The old school theme restaurant do not plan on keeping things the same so that that's going for those of you in wildwood uh down the shore dead 30 foot humpback whale washes up on jersey shore oh poor guy look at him joan look how big he is you're little you don't even understand how big he is see over there see over there ah, she doesn't like the beach so, that's a shame. Are they going to uh, stuff it full of explosives and set it off like on The Simpsons? New Jersey hot, uh, soccer journalist who defiantly wore LGBT shirt dies suddenly at the World Cup. And apparently this guy was from New Jersey. That's crazy. Um, his brother, I think, jumped to conclusions and said, you know, he blamed the Qataris. I don't think they would have killed him. I mean, you know, he could have uh, died of a certain medical procedure. I don't know. Um, our mandated mask, speaking of, coming back to New Jersey for Christmas. Uh, I don't think so. I certainly wouldn't wear them. But, you know, some people are going to do it voluntarily. I'm still seeing masks, oddly enough. Still seeing them. People who are scared tend to wear them, I think. Gas leak flares up in Woodcrest neighborhood in Cherry Hill. Whoa, that's crazy. Look at that. So hopefully no one was hurt. Doesn't appear to be. PS and G crews burned off all the natural gas as Cherry Hill firefighters stood by. At no time there was any danger to the residents. Just a giant column of flame. That's all. <laughs> no danger. No danger. Stolen statue returned to Trenton, New Jersey's Angel Island. The stolen uh, Angel of Faith statue returned to its podium in front of three, three churches at the city's holiday celebration on Wednesday. The 500 pound, 500 pound brown stat, God, bronze statue was cut at the ankles and taken from its podium at Perry and Warren Street in the early hours of May 3rd. Wow. Ballsy. Kevin L. Hampton, 51, of Lawrenceville, and Zachary Carey, 48, of Trenton, were charged with cutting the statue and putting it in the back of Hampton's GMC Sierra and selling it to the Philadelphia Scrapyard for $1,600. For $1,600 you committed this crime? And what kind of scrapyard bought it? 
Wouldn't you have looked at it and said, oh my God, where the hell did you get this? It was recovered in June and was in good condition except for the severed arm and leg and general wear and tear from the theft and transport. Oh, well, I guess they welded it all back together. Jesus. Well, that's good. Holy F. What a world. Steal a statue like that. Wingstop is open on Blackwood Clementon Road in Gloucester. Ooh, that's near me. I don't know. I'll try it, I guess. I don't like the uh, wild buffalo wings place, but... I mean, a takeout place probably be better. I don't know. How much are wings these days? Is it crazy out of control? Um, I, I like a good wing. Celery. Blue cheese. Uh, Panera. Five years later... Panera Bread is finally open in this New Jersey town. Manahawkin just got a Panera? Jeez, that was a long time in coming. I guess it was, well, it was pre-pandemic, but that was like pre-pre-pre-pandemic, so. Um, what the hell happened? I Personally, Panera has good iced tea. I'll give them that. And the bread's good, but I think it's overpriced. I think Panera's very overpriced, but it's a girl place. Girls love Panera. Oh, God, they love it. They love going there and talking and having their soup. I'm having soup, so it's 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 uh, it's not uh, bad for me. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, it's made mostly of cheese. <laughs> I'm having the broccoli broccoli and cheese in a, in a, in a bread bowl, so that's how I'm losing weight. <laughs> uh, GMM, GNM Deli Market and their top-selling sandwich. Place your bet. Place your bets. This is uh, Glendora. Um, have I been there? I'm certainly I've driven past it. Have I eaten there? Hmm. Probably. Uh, mm, that looks good. They got, ooh, they got chicken cutlet sandwiches. Hmm. All right. What are the? What's the specialty? It's a. Uh, it's in a small shopping center next to Jefferson Hospital. Washington Township. That's probably why I haven't eaten there. It's a little out of my way. Uh, it's the modern deli, but still has a tradition of quality. Uh, okay. Deli, lunch meats, blah, 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 blah. What is the sandwich you cannot name? Hot sandwiches require another level of operation. All right. Yeah. Okay, you got the cutlets. I do love me a good cutlet uh, hoagie. Ooh, that looks good. What is that? Fat Darren. <laughs> Meatball and parm and chicken parm together in one sandwich? I'm intrigued. Ooh, two meats. Not enough sauce, but uh, I think it's under the cheese. It looks good. It looks tasty. Is that the forbidden sandwich? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Um, it's a sandwich called the Fungulli. Um, and, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, I think it's got, uh, what it's got? Chicken cutlet, prosciutto, mozzarella cheese, fresh arugula, a balsamic glaze. Ooh, that does sound good. Give me one of those. All right. Yeah, I might be by. Next time I want to buy a sandwich out. Amazing Diner, dubbed New Jersey's most charming retro eatery. Place your bets. Place your bets. Um, oh, I already looked at it, so I can't. I can't guess now. Uh, Summit Diner. Yeah, it's very retro. It's got a good look. I think I've driven past it, but I don't think I've ever eaten there. Uh, that's way up there. It's way up there. Uh, Second Cloud Ten Car Wash proposed for Mantua. There it is. Goodbye, trees. We need another car wash. Like we need a hole in the head. Damn, look at that parking lot, though. What is that for? Um, so this is in Mantua. Developed at the Timberline Plaza on Woodbury Glassboro Road. It's only a mile from the existing Cloud 10 car wash. How many car washes do you people in Mantua need? Seems like a, a dumb, dumb thing to kill that many trees over. South Jersey is choking on warehouse space. Opinion. I agree. There's so much here. There's so much being built. But don't worry. 30 million square feet of warehouses. One year, two counties, 70 buildings. 
why are they building so many warehouses here? Are they turning us to the warehouse state? Is it because the trees can't take you to court? Um, you know, the aquifer fur is here, right? I, I don't even know, you know, we're going to have all these warehouses for what? The economy's going to hell in a handbasket and you're building more warehouses? That seems like the last thing we need. You can basically use any building as a warehouse. Uh, how about using all the empty industrial parks we have as warehouses? Just, they're practically warehouses as it were. That's the kind of the way they were built. And they got heating and stuff. Uh, on to happier news. Winning Powerball lottery tickets sold in Gloucester County. Uh, okay, how much did they win? Uh, 50K. The 50K third tier prize. Got four out of the five white balls. Sold at Wawa, number 480 at Crown Point Road in Thoroughfare. That would not be me. And I don't usually buy it. I don't buy a tremendous amount of uh, tickets. 29 best lo local southern New Jersey restaurants as determined by locals. All right, here we go. Crossroads Bar in Egg Harbor City. Haven't been there. Looks okay. Sunriser in Absecon. Ooh, that looks cool. I like the building. It's very uh, uh, distinct. Haven't been there. Little Goat Diner in Pleasantville. Ooh, that's cool. That's very tiny. Haven't been there. Uh, Golden Pyramid in May's Landing. I think I've heard of that. Haven't been there, though. Gary's Restaurant in Pleasantville. Looks like it's in a plaza. No. Rodeo's Chicken. I've heard of that in Folsom. I hear that's great. Red-Eyed Crab in Port Norris. Nope, haven't been there. T.W. Howes in Pomona. I've definitely driven past that. Still haven't eaten there. All the places I've eaten. I can't believe I haven't eaten in any of these. Olive Branch in the Villas. Nope, but it looks nice, though. Nancy's Country Kitchen in Egg Harbor City. Huh. No, haven't been to that one. Looks like a place I would go to. Henry Hot's Barbecue in Folsom. That's kind of cool, but nope, haven't been there. Sapore Italiano in West Cape May. Hmm, got a good name. Uh, Essel's Dugout in Pleasantville. I also think I heard of that one. Italian Bistro La Cassetta in Ocean View. Ooh, very tiny very tiny restaurants. Um, Johnny's Breakfast and Lunch in May's Landing. Johnny's Breakfast. Merrill's May's Landing. That looks very old school. Uh, the Cracked Egg in Galloway. Oh, I love that name. But no. Haven't been to that one. Sass Kitchen and Taco Bar in Hamilton. Well, that's not far from me. Oh, I know exactly where that is. That's Hoi Young. I've been there. Where the hell is that? It must be uh, in one of the other spaces. It must have switched up. Oh, there it is right there. Sass Kitchen. can barely see it. Right next to Hoi Young. Huh. Why did they build that? That must be a new one. Uh, Andy's in Hamilton. Another place. Oh, I know where this is too. Okay. I had a relative who had a restaurant in this same, I think in the same plaza. Uh, Barista's Coffee House in Linwood. Nope. Flavors at the Exchange in Galloway. Nope. These are, are these supposed to be Italian? I thought these were supposed to be Italian. Mike's Pasta in Northfield. Okay, that sounds kind of Italian. Lower Bank Tavern in Lower Bank. Uh, Mexico Restaurant and Bar in Atlantic City. There's no way that one's Italian. <laughs> okay, these can't be Italian, but they, they look fine. JW's and Absecon. Oh, this is like a... Uh, Marina restaurant. They're kind of cool sometimes. So, uh, some great barbecue near the boat. Okay. Guess these aren't Italian. Why did I say Italian? Uh, Lauderdale Pub in Hamilton. Town and Country Egg Harbor Township. That sounds really familiar. I might have been in that one. Isabella's Ventnor Cafe in Ventnor. And Joe's Meridian Grill in Summers Point. Wow, so many I haven't been to. Was this an Italian place? No. Chris Warren had said Italian. Just Southern New Jersey restaurants. Okay. I think I got it confused with another tap. A dozen fun holiday to-do events around South Jersey. So you got the Dickens Festival in Medford. Starts on the 3rd. Is it is it over then? These are old. Oh, these were all over. That one happened on the 10th. 
Oh, here we go. Christmas Village in Philadelphia, the 24th. Night Lights at Creamy Acres, Mulca Hill, the 24th. Tinsel Down Holiday Spectacular in Oaks, Pennsylvania. These aren't South Jersey if they're in Pennsylvania. Courier Post. South Jersey Holiday Life Show, Light Show in Bridgeport Speedway in Swedesboro, the 31st. A little late. Uh, Diggerland in West Berlin on January 1st. Oh, with Christmas lights through January 1st. Okay. Yeah, that place is for kids. Uh, Shady Brook Farms in Yardley. Again, I... What, what happened to South Jersey? Vintner Wonderland Renault Winery in Egg Harbor through February 26th. Wow. Really going for the Christmas. Okay. And then one at Blue Cross River Bank, River Rink Winterfest. All right. Oh, here it is. 20 much-loved Italian restaurants in South Jersey. I got it confused, doggy. All right. These I'll know. Calabria Pizza and Italian Grill in uh, Absica. No. Looks good, though. Cafe 2825 in Atlantic City. Fantastic. Yeah, I've been there a couple of times. It's pretty fantastic. Good luck getting a table, though. Oh, man. Pork chop with peppers and fresh tomato. Joe Italiano's in Maplewood. Uh, and Ham Hamilton, of course, I've been there. I've been there a couple of times. Uh, great veal parmesan. I think the meatballs are the one thing to get there. Merrill's Colonial Inn in Mays Landing. Nope. Mike's Pasta Hout in Northfield. Nope. Uh, Cordivari's Restaurant in Brigantine. Nope. Touch of Italy in EHT. No. Angelo's Fairmount Tavern, Atlantic City. Nope. But that looks like old school at Atlantic City, so I'd definitely check it out. Luigi's Italian Restaurant in Ocean City. I think maybe. Yeah, I think I may have been to that one. Nino's Family Restaurant, Cape May Courthouse. Nope. Vincenzo's Restaurante in Smithville. Mm, no, I don't think I've been there. Been to Smithville plenty of times. Pan Panico's Bistro in West Cape May. Nope. Gaspari's Italian Bistro in Egg Harbor. Possibly. Looks familiar. Chef Fola's in Atlantic City. Absolute best. Absolute top, top, top tier. Chef Volas in Atlantic City. Again, good luck getting a table. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Veal Parmesan. Well, I don't I don't generally get the veal, but the chicken parmesan out of everything is out of this world. It's out of this world. La Piazza, Cusino, and Wildwood, possibly. Angelina 2 restaurant in Atlantic City. Looks good, but no. Spagat. Spaghetta restaurant in Stone Harbor. No. I've been to that one. Valentina's Trattoria Italiana in Northfield. Possibly. That sounds familiar. Alfie's restaurant in Wildwood. No. Uh, Girasole Restaurante in Atlantic City. No. Haven't been there. Looks cool, though. And that's it. All right. Moving on to 11 craft beer breweries to visit at the Jersey Shore. You know, in the dead of winter. Well, you should have had this list two months ago. Uh, Summer Points Brewing Company. Okay. I have to check them out. Slide Slack Tide Brewing Company. I might be at one of these breweries at some point. Uh, Ludlam Island Brewery. Vinyl Brewery. I, I was talking to these guys. Gusto Brewery. Don't know them. I'm going to have to look these up. Barra Brewing. Glastown Brewing Company. They may have turned me down. Oh, there's Pinelands. Pinelands Brewing. They were pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of people showed up to that place. They, they must have really good beer. Hidden Sands Brewing Company uh, and Three Threes Brewing. So, there's, and there's many, many more. <laughs> but check out Pinelands. Finally, great places in South Jersey to bring your dog. To bring you, Joan. I could bring you to these places. Come here. You got to pay attention to this one. Look, there's a doggy. Okay. Let's see, great places to bring Joan. Where, where? Are, no, this is the wrong one. Okay. Oh, here we go. For some reason, they didn't do a list. Uh, Hot Sands Glass Studio. They will make a beautiful impression of your pup's paw print. Okay. I guess if you want that, uh, you can take your buddy to the beach at Beach Haven. We went there, Joan. We went there. Dogs must be leashed at all times. It was a bit of a, it was a bit of a chaos, chaotic scene. 
Joan was going nuts. Not because of the ocean, but because of the dog. Uh, you don't need a beach badge, which is nice. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look, Joan, dogs. Um, you can walk the Atlantic City boardwalk. Oh, you can bring your dog to the Atlantic City one. Apparently, you can't do that in a lot of the other. I wanted to bring Joan to uh, Ocean City, but apparently that's a no-no. Uh, wine tasting activities. Kate May Winery. Eh. Wine isn't your thing. You might want to try Pinelands Brewing in Little Egg Harbor. We could have brought you, Joan. Yeah, I couldn't bring you, though. I was working. When I'm working, Joan, when I'm working, I can't bring it because you're, you're too much attention. You're too much. All right, we got to get ready for the live stream. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, that's it, South Jersey. That's it, Pineys. Don't forget to uh, check out the Pineys online. Uh, links in the description. Get over to Amazon and get your copies for the Piney in your life. Makes a great Christmas gift. And I'll see you in the next one.